My belief is that all repetitive human work that doesn't require the deep emotional connection between two people, um, that will all be done in the next couple of decades, better, cheaper, faster by AI. And that is somehow left out of the conversation. It's always about factory robots and self-driving cars. But what they don't talk about is all of the white collar work that AI is going to do. This is not real. This is Sora. This is the future. AI is going to accelerate at scale over the next 10 years and take away a lot of the things that a lot of us do every day. I think it's interesting that if you asked people 10 years ago about how AI was going to have an impact with a lot of confidence from almost most people, you would have heard, you know, first it's going to come for the blue collar jobs, working in the factories, truck drivers, whatever. Then it will come for the kind of like the low skill white collar jobs. Then the very high skill, like really high IQ white collar jobs, like a programmer or whatever. And then very last of all, and maybe never, it, it's going to take the creative jobs. And it's really gone exactly, the, and it's going exactly the other direction. One of the primary concerns surrounding Sora revolves around its impact on the job market and the livelihoods of professionals in creative industries. As Sora demonstrates the ability to replicate visual content at minimal cost and with unprecedented speed, it threatens to disrupt traditional roles held by photographers, artists, animators, filmmakers, and even actors. Like logistically, why would anyone making something pay for footage of a house in the cliffs when they can generate one for free or for a small subscription price. Like that is the real scary part of what this tool implies. It also materially impacts anyone involved in the stock footage space. But it also definitely means stock video generation is absolutely going to take a dent out of video licensing. Like, I can basically guarantee that. Beyond economic implications, Sora raises ethical questions regarding the authenticity and integrity of visual media. The ease with which AI can manipulate and generate images raises concerns about the spread of misinformation, propaganda, and deepfakes. Like, you shouldn't be able to generate people's likenesses, like you shouldn't be able to make a politician look like they're doing something on video, especially this year. <laughs> Moreover, the rise of AI-generated content poses challenges to copyright and intellectual property rights. As Sora churns out vast quantities of visual media, questions arise regarding the ownership, licensing, and attribution of visual works. That has all sorts of implications for the drone pilot that no longer needs to be hired, for all the photographers and videographers whose footage no longer needs to be licensed to show up in that ad that's being made. It's already that good. Furthermore, the proliferation of AI-generated content has profound implications for cultural expression and diversity. By homogenizing visual aesthetics and erasing the distinctiveness of human creativity, Sora risks diminishing the richness and diversity of artistic expression across cultures and communities. In conjunction with the emergence of Sora, Eleven Labs introduced their own advancements in AI-driven audio production, further expanding the scope of automated content creation. With the ability to generate synthetic voices and sound effects that rival those produced by human professionals, Eleven Labs' technology presents a parallel challenge in the realm of audio production. They've even dubbed audio to match Sora's videos. Just as Sora revolutionizes visual content creation, Eleven Labs innovations threaten to disrupt traditional roles in audio engineering, voice acting, and sound design. And this is just the start. But it's not all doom and gloom. AI represents a societal shift, the like of which we have seen in the centuries that have come before us. And some are more optimistic than others that we can do better things. Everyone's like, they're gonna take our jobs. Nothing's gonna take your job if you're willing to adjust and do something that's more valuable. Tractors took people's jobs away. People left farms and did other things. Like, there'll be plenty to do. 